Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to care for slater bugs, roly polies, or wood lice as they are known. I have a little enclosure here for mine. So, what? how to make the enclosure. The first thing you need to do is have a one and a half or two inch layer of dirt on the bottom of a large jar. Then add some, uh, add some bark. You can add in things like rocks, like they like to hide under these. There's one under there at the moment. I'll just put his rock back on him. Then they also love moss. This is what my slater bugs, I like to call them slater bugs, have been living from like their, they've been eating this. Um, they love to hide in it. It's a slater bug under there. So I'm going to be showing you how you can actually find the slater bugs and construct the habitat. So yeah. I have four slater bugs in there and they can breathe because the jar has a lid with holes in it. Yeah. The first thing we're gonna do is show you how to find the slater bugs. Outside. And the first place you'd want to start looking is under pot plants. These oops, just slugs. Uh, you will also find a lot of other bugs, so if you're scared of other bugs, then maybe you shouldn't look. Uh, nope, just slugs again. I don't know why my garden is completely just like a slug paradise. Okay, so hopefully the chickens haven't eaten. Sorry, the chooks haven't eaten too. The chickens haven't eaten too many of the slater bugs. Hey, you won't eat slater bugs, will you? Now, in hot to in uh, um. When it's a, around a, uh, a warm day, 21, 24, around the 20 degrees Celsius, then that they are found walking along the bricks. They're everywhere on those kind of days. Oh, nope. Nothing here. Just a bunch of other bugs again. Uh, now, just keep looking and you will eventually find them. Oh, there's a lot of earwigs in there. Some more pots, perhaps. And we have found one. Yep. Here's a little slater bug. It's really fine to pick up slater bugs with your hands. They don't bite or anything. Found multiple actually. There's lots in there. Little guys, most of them are babies. Here he is. Hello. Yeah, little guy. Turn around, turn over. Fell on his back. So that's how you find slater bugs. Uh, so there's, they're in a the species of isopods. So they, oops, sorry. 
they are known as pests because people said that they're wood lice but there's two types so there's those ones they they live like under the ground but they don't eat wood because they live like underground not inside of wood you can tell the different types apart by the uh, some have like flat pieces coming out of where their shell is it kind of comes out um, isopods are actually like uh, crabs are isopods so these little critters are actually related to uh, sea sea creatures so yeah that's how you find them. Oh, here's a snail. Where are you, little guy? There he is. Careful not to step on him. If you want me to make a snail care series, then just tell me. Okay, so the next bit that we need to find is moss for a habitat. So with soil, the soil and the wood, you could buy them at a, at a store, like at your, at a store that sells gardening supplies. Just potting soil will do. Now I know that there is actually a lot of moss growing along this, this bench. Uh, their favourite isn't this type of moss. They seem to love uh, oh, it's not here, but they love eating, they love moss and living in moss because it's, uh, it's moist and they need a moist environment. So every time it, you know, you can smell it and you can kind of smell dirt when it's moist, when it's not moist, then you might want to add a few drops onto the, onto the moss because the moss survives and thrives in that environment also. Another place that you can find moss is kind of a covered area. There's a lot of moss down here, uh, near where the snail was. And their moss also grows on gra on. Uh, yeah, found some of the moss that they like to eat. That that's the moss that they my. Ladybugs seem to enjoy this type of moss. Uh, this type of moss here, they love that. A bit more over here. So this is a, like a really fun. This is a really fun and interesting uh, pet to have because you can watch them and they dig tunnels and they come out at night more often and they stay in the cold time so I hope you've learned how to care for isopods, slater bugs or, or also commonly known as roly polies. There you go. My bugs don't have any names. Oh, here is a bug right here. That little black one. They love the moss, but it's falling apart a bit because I've been eating it. Oh, and there's one here. There's two actually. Better put them back. So that's what I care for. bugs. Thanks for watching.